In this video we are going to go through on how to get started in Hypixel Skyblock and we are starting right now. So as it was said we are going to start up with a new build in Hypixel Skyblock and let's, create a, let's just create a new profile right away just like any new player would do. We are now in the middle of nowhere. And as always we start off by punching some wood to make our progress. Now as known, do our workbench pretty standard, chop this down, make more wooden planks, some sticks, need more wooden planks because I forgot about it, make a pickaxe, didn't want to do that, there we go, now we have a pickaxe, now we need to make more stickies, put those over here, make a hole, and these are going to be our main weapons or tools that we will be handling with throughout the rest of the game. There we go, now we got all the cobblestone that we possibly need in order to make our progress. Chuck these over here. Get a bit of additional dirt because you never know when you need it. Because I think that's not going to be enough. And as I was right, we didn't have enough. Now we're over to the island. Off we go to the hub. Where you want to get started right off the bat is within uh, the farm without any big reduce. So you can, uh, so you can get started within your first money uh, making methods right away. And we shall be doing so for a little while until we have a very, ne uh, a very nice level. Now that our inventory is entirely full, we can go over to a normal uh, to a normal merchant and just sell everything right away as we still don't have access to uh, the bazaar therefore we still gotta increase our mining level here you can just sell everything that you don't need given that we don't need anything anymore in the first place we can just sell everything right away and there you go you've already made your force uh, your first four thousand without any a big hassle or anything like that so you don't have to be like specific people and need to beg unnecessarily for a whole bunch of items as well you can always check a current level if you go over to profile management and select over the emerald block and that one tells you what current level you are at within farming combat fishing or any higher or the highest level will always be displayed right away over there. Now that we have that out of the way within the farming, we can go right over to the mining. Given the circumstances that we have now some money, we can just get ourselves the rookie pickaxe, which is way better than that. can just sell that one, put this one over here instead. And off we go mining, shall we? Now that we are over here on the gold mine, where you just have to proceed throughout the coal mine, we can talk right away over to Rusty, who's going to tell us that everyone should be applying telekinesis on their tools. And now that we have the option, we're just going to we're just going to do so if the game would let us. Wonderful. Apply this, and from now on, every time when we pick a stone up or iron, coal, you name it, essentially the same applies over there. You just pick it up right away, so no one can just snag it right away from you the moment you try to pick it up as Sometimes people tend to do that. I just realized that it was an absolute doofus given that the lazy miner up there is going to tell us that he has forgotten where he's put his pickaxe. So we just press our right mouse button on him in order to interact with him. And we go down here. Go over here. Take a right. And there's his pickaxe right over there. The moment you right click on the pickaxe you have it within your inventory and we all know that iron is better than stone tools whether it be rookie or not so we go back up put telekinesis on it call me out for a doofus as I generally have forgotten about that little side factor now that we have it applied we can just simply hop down here continue mining as we would in order to increase our level uh, so we can possibly even get very soon over to the deep caverns obviously deep caverns are more than dangerous 
and they require mining level 5. So I suggest if you don't have proper armor, I mean proper armor in terms of having better armor than diamond armor, don't necessarily go down there. As most of the materials you can locate over here, whether it be iron or coal, or you go down here and simply proceed even below, uh, like m lower, in order to find something like this. And from that point of all, you just wanna stick to that as it just increases your level as a whole. You can see the objective is saying reach mining level 5 and we shall be doing so. What I also recommend, instead of picking up all the rocks or the stone, go for the ores instead as they give you way more mining level. I as you can see, if I carefully take this one out, it gives me 5 rather than normal cobblestone, 6 for gold. It just it is just faster and, it, and you don't have to worry about too much about the others. So let's just fill up our mining level right here, right now, over to level 5. And I shall see ya right over there. And there we go. Was that easy? Hop over and set our level over to level 7 regarding mining. And there we go. Level 7 in mining, level 9 in farming. Pretty well. Now the last thing that we need to do is increase our foraging. And for that, we go right over there, next to the bazaar, where you can purchase some lovely axes. Off we go. Back at the village we are. While I was making my way, I also decided to put everything in an ender chest. Now you might wonder, what is an ender chest? You go over to your skyblock menu, then you head over to storage. That storage area is where you always available. You hop over there, and then you have access to those two purple, pinkish patterns. You can click over there and just store everything that you've gathered so far. And I can really recommend to you, stick to the cobblestone. More of that in the video. And you have an additional page over here that ain't this big, but it's really reliable as well when it comes towards the urge. Right, as we have said, we're gonna go over to the farming merchant. Uh, lumber merchant, sorry, not the farming, um, and get ourselves the promising axe, as the promising axe is way better than any other axe, can also sell that, um, way better than any other axe, and we can just go over to the forest, which is right through here, and uh, next to the graveyard, and you can, uh, as a matter of fact, you can just chop this very tree right here. And we shall see one another at, le at level 7. A little side note as well, if you have the promising axe and you go over to its statistics, you can see that it automatically has upgraded to efficiency. Now you can also see on the lower bottom saying we'll gain efficiency too after breaking a certain amount of blocks. That one is going automatically, so if I were you, just really get this axe to begin with. And also, um, stick to these little log piles as they're just way better and there's a bloody server reboot. So we shall see one another now actually at level 7 of foraging. Now one thing you may also notice is that sometimes you get d double drops like this, right? This means every time when you rank up, you get an additional chance to get multiple locks in a row, like this one. That came out of a single lock, we can just get to without any further ado. And that being said, we just got all of our majority importance of levels up to level 7. Meaning, now we can head over for the bazaar and sell everything that we've got. So we can actually just break finally the myth of... Okay, um, so we can actually just break the myth of how many coins you can actually earn in the beginning. As many users tend to tell you, you can get millions and millions in your first hour, right? This is your actual revenue together with everything that you have storage in your storage right here. You chuck that all out to your inventory. When it comes to making big money as a beginner, my recommendation, start off with farming. Or you rely on cobblestone as cobblestone is bringing in a whole bunch of money. That's why I can tell you what 
instant sale failed, so that's very interesting. Just do it like that. Sell that. Sell the coal. S can't, can't sell those. Uh, can still sell the gold. And we got now an average revenue of 17,000, uh, which is really going to help us. Stop talking to me. Just give me that window. Uh, very practical also for quick trading, like stone, wool, all the additional items that you can get. Um, for making the quick big book, I recommend having an investigation at Jacob's house. Jacob's house is consisting, there it is, the farmhouse. Jacob's house is consisting out of two things. Jacob uh, himself and upstairs where you can redeem the Jacob's tickets they can get from the farming events. Every farming event is uh, you can participate within the farming event if you're level 10 within farming. So meaning, in order to start off with those, we have to upgrade our level over there. So you folks know what that means. Also, an additional little side information. If your fields start being entirely empty, here's a recommendation for you that I can always make to your folks. It will cause you maybe a little bit to lag, or you just simply change the lobby. You could come into a filled up one, but most of the times the farmlands over there are just entirely empty and there we go, we just refilled everything by just swapping the lobbies and now we can just get back to the deal of getting our level up within farming so we can participate into uh, one of Jacob's events which is really gonna help us, especially if we reach the bronze medal uh, right away because each Jacob's Ticket can bring you in about five to seven thousand each. And if you get bronze, you get ten. If you get silver, you get fifteen. I think I haven't had gold yet, even with my OP uh, profile. But if you get gold, you get I believe twenty. I gotta lie here because I'm rather uncertain. But that one shall remain a mystery unless you leave a comment down below that is telling me Hey dude, it's actually 25 or hey dude, it's actually 30 Because our level is just going up to 10 And you know where we go within this entire stuff right there The moment we level up, we go right over to the bazaar and sell all the wheat Now, I for myself, I'm one of those believers that wheat and farming as a whole really bring in the most of the money and I mean looking at the results pretty good for a starter obviously it's not a few millions but it's good for a starter so we can as always bring it back uh, bring it to the bank you have the bank right here you also have a wall but if you're doing a solo bird you will never need it trust me unless you need some extra storage but then again you have chests we simply right click on him, go to the uh, wooden chest, deposit the coins, uh, select your whole purse, chuck it in there, and you get an extra 10 bucks, can just put that in there as well. And now we got an average of 21,000 and a few additional hundreds. Well, that is essentially where you get started off, and you got other events where you can participate. You can grind, like, one thing is for, uh, one thing is for certain, high pace of skyblock is a grind and if you don't want to be like most of the people always beg because I for myself always, always hate it when I just see somebody saying hey I need a million I'm at map no you don't need a million just get cobblestone just get wheat do something right it doesn't take you anything to do that stop talking to me and just show me the window there you go here you can always see the upcoming content uh, contests now for this one, we don't have any wheat, unfortunately, but when it comes to Jacob's ticket, they're really beneficial if you try to get a whole bunch of money without doing a whole lot. Now, lobby jumping is also an option when it comes over to wheat, potatoes, carrots, or anything like that. So, you know, it is quite worth it to be more than fair. You go over here, Jacob's tickets are currently for a very neat price. Or you, if you win bronze, you get about a hundred thousand if you sell them right away. That's a whole lot for a beginner, if you ask me. And you don't have like a revenue getting just like a million, ten million, or a hundred million in two hours. That is never gonna happen if you just started off a profile. So please stop listening to those folks that tell you, because that either requires overcomplicated stuff.
begging or other bullstuffings that you shouldn't be relying on in order to make success. And that is it folks. I really hope this tutorial has helped you. Don't forget to leave a like down below in the video and consider subscribing so you're not going to miss out any upcoming content and hit that notification bell. I have seen a whole bunch of people always saying I've hit it but I haven't and then I have missed out so many uploads where they haven't been informed going from uh, starting off by episode 1 and then at some point they have the uh, realization that they, that they are currently watching episode 17 and y you don't want that to happen do you? So hit that notification bell for more uh, upcoming content so you're not going to miss out on that one and I hopefully shall see y'all when I see y'all not too early and not too late